In today's video, I'll be trying to make something levitate. I'll be using Coca-Cola to clean the uncleanable, trying to make my doodles float, and using Coca-Cola to restore an old pair of rusty pliers. Plus, more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys what is one thing you hope doesn't happen in 2019. And your comments were incredibly insightful, and hopefully not foreshadowing what's actually going to happen this year. But since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is something you will love forever? It could be anything from your favorite food to fail videos where people are shown face planting. Be creative with your answers and put whatever you can come up with in the comment section. I'll be picking 10 of my favorite to be featured in the next video. Now, let's get this thing going. All right, well, we're back for another episode of what exactly is that haircut supposed to be anyways? Where I just try to figure out if maybe doing that would help, but it doesn't. No, actually what we're gonna be doing here is testing out a life hack that I saw online, of all places. So according to the internet, if you take soda and fill a hot water heater and set it to boil, it will remove any lime scale that may be on your hot water heater. By the way, I don't know if that's what these things are called, I'm just guessing on that. Electric kettle. There you go. Now, I don't really know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm guessing not just because, well, it came from the internet. But I have seen how Coke can take the rust off of a penny in like a day, so I'm thinking maybe there's a chance, but I should never get my hopes up. And I just realized that my camera probably wasn't focused accurately, so now let's get this thing going. So I want to give you guys a close up shot so you can see exactly how much lime scale is on this pitcher. And to be honest, this is from just a few times of boiling water with this. I mean, that is a lot of lime scale, but luckily the internet says it has a solution and it's gonna involve a lot of sugar, just like all good things. And that being said, let's get this thing going. Well, I guess now there's really nothing left except for me filling this with soda and seeing how full of crap the internet really is. That almost came out differently. There was a time you didn't have to use the word crap. Those were the good old days. I guess you don't really have to use the word crap now. Sugar, bum 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 bum. Oh, honey, honey, bum 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 bum. You are my sugar girl. I shouldn't sing ever, huh? Now I'm gonna fill this about to the max here, because I'm expecting maximum results. Oh, it looks like it's done. Now I just have to pour all this out and then we'll see what we've got. Now I'm just gonna wipe it down with a paper towel. And oh my God, it actually worked. I cannot believe that. This thing looks exactly like it did when it was brand new. That's pretty awesome. And it was a lot easier than cleaning it any other way that I had tried. Alcohol does a pretty good job, but honestly, soda does an even better job at cleaning your electric tea kettle. This is amazing. I'm honestly just that excited because I use this thing a lot. I drink coffee like it's my job. I'm really not even sure if it's not, I, I don't know, but I drink it like it is. And so this life hack for me is gonna be getting used quite a bit. And that being said, we'll be on to the next one. Now you might be wondering, what am I doing in front of a baking sheet with tin foil on it and a container of water? Well, I've been asking myself that same question, but I wanted to put something to the test that I saw on the life hack channel because I think it's pretty cool actually, if it works. And I think that it's possible it could work. Now on the internet, they say if you take a permanent marker, draw something on tin foil and pour water, onto what you've drawn, your drawing will lift to the surface of the water. And I actually think that's possible because there's not really much for the ink to stick to on the tinfoil. And this whole process really reminds me of hydro dipping, which is when you spray paint on top of water and then dip something into it. And then the spray paint gets stuck onto whatever you dipped. That's also a weird process, but it's not what we're doing here today. So I'm gonna do a few drawings on this tinfoil. We're gonna see if this works. After drawing with a permanent marker for that long, I think I wanna go take a nap. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and see if any of these drawings float. So now, as you can see, I've drawn FMN, a Pete Davidson tattoo, and a play button. The play button was the biggest because I realized I should probably be making these drawings bigger just for video purposes, but we're gonna see if this works either way. And if this does work, we'll know because I'll be able to blow it around on the tinfoil using this straw. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. <gasps> I think... Wow, that did not work. Wow, this did not work. I mean, no surprises, right? This this did come from a life hack channel. And that being said, we'll be on to the next thing. So according to the internet, if you pour a glass of soda and stick your rusty tool in it, it will clean it off. But as we both know, 
The internet is full of lies. And I also spent a really, really long time cleaning off a hammer and restoring it, using a Dremel and a million other things, but never once did I even think to use soda. So if this works, I'm gonna be pretty mind blown. But I do remember seeing a viral video a little while back where a guy had a chrome bumper and he just poured a soda onto it and wiped it down with what looked like just a normal rag and it became brand new again. And this bumper was like really rusty, like, from the bottom of the ocean type rusty. And because I believe that that viral video was real, I have to think that there's a chance that this could work out. Plus, I've seen how soda can clean a penny overnight. And if that's any indication of what it's gonna do to this, then I think that we're in good shape. And that being said, let's get this thing going. How do I live without you? I just looked under this soda cap, hoping to find some free prize or something. You guys remember when that was a thing? Me neither. So as you can see, these pliers are pretty rusty. They're they're actually disgusting. Almost unusable. No, not that quite, but, but they're pretty bad. And I just want to get a good before shot in your head so that way you'll be able to tell the difference when I pull these things out. So that way we can determine if soda really is the rust cleaning tool we've always hoped it was, or if we've just been rotting our teeth out for no reason. And that being said, let's get this thing going. Well, here we are, a day later now. These pliers have been soaking in soda for over 24 hours, and now we finally get to determine if soda will really remove the rust off of these or if that's just internet BS. All right, let's see what we've got here. I'm just gonna wipe off the soda and see what it looks like. And here are the finished results. And to be honest, it probably looks a little bit more clean. And when I was wiping it down, I definitely removed more than just soda. Some of the rust and dirt did come off, that's for sure. But did it make these look brand new again? Not really. As a matter of fact, it's probably not even a noticeable difference. But I don't wanna say that this would never work, but I can definitely say that it was not as good of a life hack as what they suggested on the internet. So it went exactly as expected. No surprises. And also no brand new tools either. And that being said, we'll be on to the next one. For this part in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is trying to levitate a severed head. Well, not exactly, but it's a Buddha head and it's a decoration that belongs to my girlfriend and it's the only thing I found that I could use in here that's not gonna float. According to life hack channels, all I have to do is fill up this cylindrical container with glass gems, which is what these things are, put this head in there and then fill it up with water and it'll look like this is levitating. This isn't going to work. I do think it's going to become more transparent and I can probably even do a fancy focus trick with my camera to make it look like it's levitating, but we're going to be able to see this when it's underwater. It might be a little bit more transparent, but we're still going to see it and it's not going to look like the head's levitating, but I'm going to try to make it work anyways. And that being said, let's get this thing going. Now I know there's probably a good chance that none of this is making sense to you yet, but that's okay. We're going to figure this out together. Okay, so here goes the big moment of truth, which is remarkably usually when the lie is revealed, but let's give this a chance. I hope that clears everything up for you. This is the results that you get. I mean, well, that didn't help it any, but it honestly didn't make it any worse. And as it turns out, this is just as stupid as I thought. And that being said, we'll be on to the next thing. Also recently, I went flowboarding with Jug Squad, Tifu, and Robbie, and there were some pretty nasty falls, so, I wanted to share that with you.
So if you found this video helpful or if you just enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and bell me for notifications if you'd actually like to see the videos. And of course, we'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.